Welcome back. There was no bedroom scene with Klein, if you're wondering. So, what we're going to do is carry on with what we normally do. We're going to pick up some quests and go off to the... I can't remember what floor we're on. Whatever floor we're on. But we're going to go with Silica. I've got her some new armor as well. It's orange, which I don't think suits her, but... Oh well. Let's pick up the quests anyway. Desert Fallen. Ten scorpions, fair enough. Should be easy to do. Accept quest. Reaper's tool? Hmm. Nine scythes. Should be good enough. Okay. Right. That's that. Let's continue onwards. Whoa, I can see then the tree was right in the way. I need to go out with Argo at one point, don't I? I keep forgetting this person actually exists. I haven't really been in the story. Um, teleport gate. I am wondering how Pina's going to work out, though. That's 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 what I'm most interested. It was 81. That's floor what floor what we're on. Yeah, that's a sentence. All right, let's go to exterior then. Sun soap torrids torrids. I like the music. So it has, like, sort of has a Tales vibe to it. It's all desert. If we aren't careful, it might completely dry up. Well, I don't think there are any status ailments like heat stroke, so we're probably okay. But even if it isn't heat stroke, I might get a sunburn. Huh? Even if something like that was actually implemented, it's not like it would damage you or anything. What's the problem? Even if you don't actually get damage, things like that are important to a girl, okay? Okay. Let's try to clear this floor as fast as possible. Ooh, there's some scorpions right there. Speaking of sunburn, though, my cousin recently went on holiday to Croatia. She enjoyed her time there, so it's all fine. We should be able to finish this quest quite fast from the looks of it. Yeah, she went to Croatia, and basically she she came back, and her legs had been sunburned. But we're not talking like a mild sunburn. It's sort of like she had blisters. It's just it was horrible. Ooh, an oasis. Very nice. Hmm, there's a symbol there. The entrance to the labyrinth seems to be right there. But there is some kind of object blocking the way. Maybe we have to activate some event? Hmm. Only the strong may proceed. Defeat the lords of the four ruins and prove your strength. It seems like the event has already started. The lords of the four ruins? It should become clear soon. For now, searching the immediate area seems like the best choice. Let's do that then. This oasis is cool. Actually, think about it, I take it back, the whole idea of it being a bit like Tails. It, it, it's actually more like Fairy Fencer F. Because there was a desert area in that, wasn't there? It's kind of cool. Oh, so there's like, there literally is four entrances, or... So we got that one, and that one, and that one. And there's one over here. Cool! I actually like that. It's, it's, I like this desert area. And the blue of the water is so, so nice. It doesn't make me thirsty, it just makes me want to sit and relax. You know, sort of just sit there. Just look at the sky, see any few clouds that might be going by. There's probably no clouds in the desert, though. Trial of the Outlying Labyrinth. What? The what now? Alright, fair enough. Alright, let's get seeing how Pina attacks and everything. My sentences make no sense today, by the way. Pina didn't seem to do anything at all there. I'm not sure whether it does anything, or she does anything. I do apologize to Pina. But this does also remind me of my time in World of Warcraft once again. Because I was a warlock, I had many pets. Demons, I had. I remember my imp that I had. On my first warlock, it was Tarmat. I had. It was called Tarmat. My Tarmat the Imp. It was an awesome little imp. I loved him. 
But then I got rid of that character, so, you know, can't have loved him that much, could I? And then I got a new Warlock, a Gnome Warlock, much better. Because it was a Gnome. And we all know, Gnomes make everything better. But, yeah. Ooh, level up. The next imp I got for that, because the, the names are randomly generated, by the way. So, you, you don't give them the name, otherwise I would have called it Tarmat. Ooh, quite a lot of coal there. Yeah, and the next one I got was called Biznar. Biznar. <laughs> Trying to remember the names of my other pets. Can't really remember them. I know the Fell Hunter I had, which is a ho odd thing to describe what it looks like. It's sort of like a dog. Sort of from hell. I, I don't know where, how else to describe it. More teleport crystals. Awesome. Oh, hello. Is this like Diablo or something? It's just a shadow demon. And when I say Diablo, I'm referring to, of course, Final Fantasy. That's another game where I had pets, actually. Final Fantasy 14. Phew, just managed that. Did we? I wasn't even paying attention. There's no point in staying here. Oh, so that, that's simple then. There's no extra floors or anything. It's just one floor, kill it, move on. Kind of cool. We should be able to do this quite quickly then. Yeah, in Final Fantasy XIV. What did I play? Summoner, of course. I should know this. I love Final Fantasy. I, kn I know what call for beasts. Ooh, why is there... I only just noticed there's a blue light there. Is there a reason there's a blue light there? Hmm, do all the rooms have one? I don't know. Just seems odd. Thought maybe it was something I could press, but no. Next! I really want to go inside this tent, but I can't. Alright, let's see what's in this yellowy brown one. A special monster dwells nearby. Defeat it! Yeah, play the summoner. In Final Fantasy XIV, it's, it's most enjoyable. I did enjoy that for a long time, but then I, then I decided, you know what? Because of the awesome system inside Final Fantasy XIV, you can switch your class very easily. So easily. It's, it's such a nice system. Why isn't the other guy attacking? It's very odd. But yeah, the system in that. Absolutely love it. Absolutely. It's the job system. So you can just switch your job, which switches your class. Perfect. Awesome. So I decided I'd, I'd have a go at the other classes. I'd have a go at being a black mage. And I absolutely loved being a black mage. It was so awesome. That I just stayed being a black mage. It's more of these guys again. With no head. That reminds me of more World of Warcraft stuff. There's lots of stuff in this that reminds me of World of Warcraft. Which does kind of make sense when you think about it. Because... It is based around the idea of MMOs, and World of Warcraft is definitely an MMO. But it was the events that happened around Halloween. It was the Headless Horseman. Is that another guy guarding a door? Hmm. I wonder what behind... I wonder what behind? I wonder what is behind this door? I keep missing words in my sentences today. I don't know what it is. Maybe I'm coming down with something. That took its time. I'm gonna go this way first, because I did see this chest. Why? Is it because I'm lower level that they're not attacking? No, they're lower level. Seriously, can't speak at all, can I? This is most bizarre. Phantom Edge plus two times one. Alright, let's go up here then, because I don't want to go attack that. Oh, maybe I do want to go attack that then, because that seems to be... Actually, I'll kill this first, because I'll still be in here, won't I? So that's fine. I expected the enemies to be a bit different, though. I thought each guardian, each demon would be different, but... No. Manage that one somehow. Alright, time to head back. It says managed. It's, they're quite easy. They're really not a problem. I hope this guy around here will be much better, because look at him, he's glowing red. He seems to be related to the m big boss on this floor somehow. 
because it's an MM, so maybe we'll get some data out of this. Which would be interesting to get. Level up, though! Press it more times 10, that's cool. But yeah, th these guys do remind me of stuff from Final Fantasy VIII, though. I mean, it's say Final Fantasy VIII, it's just Final Fantasy in general. The Diablos. Which was a summon in Final Fantasy VIII. If you played Final Fantasy VIII and you got that summon, you... It was called Diablo, wasn't it? I don't know. Pretty sure it was. Didn't enjoy Final Fantasy VIII, so I don't remember much about it. But I do remember this one instance. Oh dear. It's sort of like, you start the game. It's all fine and good, you do these little things, you do this mission. The really cool mission, it's a really cool mission. This part of the game is actually really good, it's when it gets later that it falls apart. But yeah, it starts off really good. There's a switch over here. Starts off really good. But tiny spiders. Hmm. Where's the chest thing? No, that thing, that's what I mean. And you, you return back to like your main town, your main area. And again, it all seems good, everything's going fine. You're like, right, you need to go off and protect someone. It's like, okay, fine. I'll go do that then. So you leave town to go off on your new mission that you've been given because you passed a test and you've been proven worthy etc blah 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 you know the usual stuff but you get given this stone and it's like I can't remember what it, how it words it it's like this dark presence is inside this stone and it's like why have I been given this stone what do I do with it and if you open it essentially it like pulls you into another dimension where you face a boss that's really, really hard. Like, you are not at the right level. You need to wait on opening that up. It's just crazy. It's a stupid thing to do. To give you that straight away. Because you do just want to be like, oh, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll see what this is about. I'll, I'll open this up, and then you get screwed over. Dwarf tarantula, they're called. Hmm. So I assume this is just a tarantula. No, it's a mad tarantula. It is angry. Either that or it's crazy. One of the two. I'm remembering loads of gaming moments in my head right now. Like when I first played Metal Gear Solid 1. That was something. I, I had no experience with Kojima games before. None at all. And it got to the part of the game. See, thinking about it. All right, crushed. Shall we go back now? Okay. Yeah, so. Now I guess I'll need one. Never played a Kojima game before. And this is like way back when we didn't have the internet properly. We didn't have forums. It was around, but no one used it because no one really had proper access to it. It was like, this was sort of like dial up was just becoming a thing. 56K that time. That's, that's when I'm talking. So we got PlayStation 1 game, that sort of thing. And you make your way through the game. And you get to like, I think it's the first boss, which is Ocelot. If I remember correctly. I might be wrong about that, but I'm, I'm sure it was Ocelot. You get to Ocelot. And you're there to like, find the Dark Chief or something like that. You're meant to find some other guy. You're meant to find a guy. And this guy just says to you, the code, the codec, because it's like there's a communication in game called codec and stuff if you've not played them before. But, and you need codes to call up the right people. It's like finding someone's phone number, basically. And the code, he says, is on the back of the box. So you're like, alright, there's loads of boxes in this game. What the hell does he mean, the back of the box? So I spent probably two days, two days, searching the game. Every box, the cardboard boxes you get, searching them, seeing if I can look on the back of them, checking everything to try and find this code. A mimic! There's actually a mimic! A lot of people out there are going to be like, my god, Dark Souls! I go with Final Fantasy, because that had mimics as well. Lots of things had mimics. I mean, even Sakura Dungeon had mimics, didn't it? Abyss mimics. It even had the chocolate one, didn't it? Yeah. Right. Yeah, so I spent days and days and days searching for this code with no clue whatsoever. So I don't know why, but I thought... Ooh, level up! Oh! I thought I'd check the box. 
Right, see if I can look in the guide, see if it tells me what to do, because I'm really stuck. Maybe the... Yeah. Well, not the guide, the manual, even. Yeah. Maybe I'll give you a hint as to what to do. Maybe there's, like, something called a box that I'm not even aware of. And then just notice on the back, one of the screenshots for the game is the code I need. They put the code, put the codec, the phone number, on the back of the literal box. The actual box for the game. And I was like, that is genius. I didn't feel upset by these days wasted searching for this code. It was like, no, that got me. That was impressive. That is amazing. Little did I know we were going to go on and then face off against um, Psycho Mantis. Which is a whole nother thing. Because I'd been playing, what would it be? I can't remember what it, like, not Vandal Hearts. There was a, basically a um, Konami game I was playing. It's got hearts at the end of it. It was a tactical RPG. Someone let me know what that one is, because I can't remember what it is. Vagrant Hearts? I don't know. I can't remember anyway. And it's just like, if, you, if you've not played Metal Gear Solid 1, you've not got to Psycho Mantis. It's incredible. It's absolutely incredible. But what he did was read your memory card and saw if there was any other Konami games and would say, oh, I see you're a fan of RPGs. You've been playing, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, how does he know this? How does he know what game? This is a different game. How does he know what I've been playing? Completely not taking into account. You do have a memory card. It's on the memory card that you've been playing it. It just, it was so different. It had not been done in games before, really. I mean, it probably had been, but not in anyone's app played. It was just really eye-opening, that game. It really shaped part of my childhood. I became suspicious of games, basically. That's why I've got an inquisitive mind, I think, with games, and try and figure things out and try and work things out. It's mainly because of stuff like that. Phew. Clear here, too. Let's head back. Let's... Yeah, so stuff like that has really made me inquisitive. And I'm grateful for it, because I really do enjoy that. I've still not played the le latest Metal Gear Solid, to be honest. I, th I, I don't know why, I just don't have a feeling to play it. I think Metal Gear Solid 4 was just a bit... Mm, didn't really enjoy it. Especially because I played it before the you could install everything. So it was just a pain to play. Oh, mighty one, you have proven your strength. The path shall open. Okay, with that, the barrier should be cleared. And let's keep moving. Alright, let's carry on then. Looks like we're at the labyrinth already. I get the feeling we're not alone here. Alright, ten skeleton pawns. Let's run around, collect all the chests, kill as many skeletons as we can. Once we have, we'll skip everything once again. Yeah, I've got to be so high level now that it isn't pulling the groups together, which is kind of annoying, because that was my whole attack pattern. So it really was about pulling everyone together and then using my AoE. So that made it so nice, so smooth. But nothing now. See there, it's like I'm next to this guy, nothing. I mean, I can still do it. I guess that's the way I've got to do it now, is just make sure they're together when I attack. Like here, that's, that's nice. Can't, I can't do my AoE though, but it, it's, it's a nice setup. Yeah, Metal Gear Solid 4, when it first came out for PlayStation 3, you'd play one level, and then install the next. Fine. It's like, oh, that's fine. So then you got to the... Oh, it's a goddamn mimic. Yeah, so then you got to the next level, because you'd finish that level, it would install the next one. But the thing is, this would take like an hour to do, so it was very annoying. Plus you had really long scenes that were like an hour, an hour and a half, before you actually got to the gameplay. What they should have done was make it so the scenes played, the door is closed, alright. Guess it's down here then. Yeah, have the scene play while it was installing the next level. That would have been perfect. Would have been awesome. They fixed it now, though. But it was like you basically just watched Solid Snake smoke a cigarette 
for about an hour while it installed the next level. Um, the annoying thing is, while it did this, it also uninstalled the previous levels. So if you went through the game again, which is something you would do in Metal Gear, because you get more fun through going again and again and again because you get more stuff, etc. You'd still have to go through the installs. Over and over and over. It's just like, this is killing my enjoyment of the game. I can't... I just can't enjoy it. So I, I really didn't like Metal Gear Solid 4 because of that. I'm in the middle of a fight game, and you give me a quest complete? This isn't... No! Fine. Let's pick that up. Ding ding ding! Wrong strike? Strike? I don't know. Oh, ooh. I was gonna go up there, and it's like there is no up there. Ah, let's carry on to the next floor then. Oh. Next room then. Guess I gotta take out this guy. Because he should open the door, because that's what happened last time, wasn't it? I do like the idea of instead of keys, you got enemies to kill that open the door. It's a much better way of doing it. I like that. All I can think again is World of Warcraft. There's so many things in World of Warcraft that feel familiar in this game. But like I said, that makes complete sense. Ding a ding. Well, let's get these guys. This guy then comes and attacks after I've done the AoE. Thanks a lot. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I get the feeling we're not alone here. Ten Lizardmen Elders. Are these Elders? They are. Fair enough. Yeah. Sword skills together. Now you're... Oh. I was going to say, no, you're alright, but then we did do one. I mean, you got to look at the level difference now. I'm at level 107. They're 86. It really is like... I've just completely out-leveled the whole game. I've not done any extra leveling or anything. I've just done the quests as they've arrived. So, I, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I should have... Rushed more? I, d I don't know. I've done every quest that's come my way. Maybe that's the problem. I've done every quest that's come my way, and I've done every event that's come my way. I should have waited or something. Maybe I'm doing really well on the XP buffs. I don't know. I don't know why I'm doing so well. Maybe it's because I was meant to go to the hollow area, and that's the hard bit or something. I don't know. I don't know what it's going to be like when I go to the hollow area, because if the hollow area was based around being level 100... Um, let's get these guys. Yeah, if it was based around the idea of being level 100, and we're going to finish most of these floors before that, we're going to be quite high leveled for the hollow area as well. Alright, so we've done that, so let's just go collect chests, explore the map. Recovery crystal. Don't really use them whatsoever. Let's have a look at the map, though. Right, so let's go back the other way first. Down here. I'm not even looking at what's coming my way. We'll pick up this chest. It's a mimic, damn it. Whoa, that was loud. We killed so many so fast then. That's Stupidly, stupidly loud. I'll probably have to turn that down when I edit the video. How did I miss this chest? I should have looked down here first and be like, oh, there's a chest there. And I'd be like, right, move on. There's only grand health potions. I don't need grand health potions. Although, based on the lost, 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 yeah, lost, last boss fight, I might actually need them. I might actually need them. No idea where I'm going, by the way. Just trying to run away from this guy. You know what? Let's get rid of them. Then I can have a look at the map properly. Map! Yeah, going the right way. It's fine. Nothing down there. Out of the way, you guys. 
They didn't even attack me. I thought they'd come at me. But no. I get the feeling we're not alone here. Once again, we're not alone. Ten phantoms. Okay, fair enough. Should be able to take them out. Again, the phantom is not attacking. It's it's quite annoying. It really is. Like, just, just attack me. I'm trying to think of other MMOs I've played. And the only one I can really think of that I've properly played is Guild Wars. I did enjoy that. I, I played that with my um, friend from World of Warcraft, Nikki. So it was, it was basically, when we had nothing to do in World of Warcraft, we just went off and played Guild Wars instead. It was like, there we go. Because it was, that one was very, 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 very story based. And the story was really, really good in that. Oh, some stairs already. Yeah, the story was very good in Guild Wars. And it was good that we could just team up on our own. Didn't need anyone else. We had these like special NPCs we could use to fill our group. And then we could go off and do the missions together. It was, it was most enjoyable. That's why it was a bit of fun on the side of World of Warcraft. It was just, just a nice little bit of fun. The last few missions were quite hard though. We got all the expansion packs for that as well. Do you remember Nikki didn't enjoy one of the characters called Gwen? I love Gwen. She was awesome. That only makes sense if you played Guild Wars, by the way. Or maybe it doesn't. Maybe you just know it for some other reason. Because there are a few books out. So maybe you've read some of the books. Maybe you understand it from that. It's possible. It's entirely possible. I did try Guild Wars 2. I played that for like maybe a month. It just didn't click with me. It's just something off with it. I don't I don't know. I did enjoy it, but it just didn't keep me attached to it. I haven't been back in ages. It did mean give me the chance to play as an Asura, which are basically the gnomes of Guild Wars 2. And as we know, everything that's a gnome is so much better as a gnome. As I say, go gnome or go home. Very simple. I don't know where my fascination with gnomes started. Well, I know where it started. When it started would be more appropriate. It started in World of Warcraft. I know this. Because they're so cute and fun and funny. I just enjoy them. But... I don't really know how it came about. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, Guild Wars 2. Just, it lacked something. And I'm not sure what. I mean, we finished the story. The story was good. It was alright. That might have been the problem. The story... I don't know. I, th I think Guild Wars 1 is very much like you can finish it as a single player game on your own if you want. It'd be very difficult, but you could. Or you could do it with like maybe a friend, two friend, three friend, four friend, etc. You could, you could play it how you want it. And then Guild Wars 2 is very much like, right, team up with people. It's like, can I use NPCs and just go off and have a laugh? Like, nope. You want to join a party with a group of people? Go off and do that. It's like, you've lost the uniqueness that was Guild Wars there. You, you've taken that away. Oh, we found the boss room. I think we won't kill the boss in this part. This floor feels different from the others. Does that mean the boss room is close? Yeah, I guess we just have to press on and find out. Ah, right, let's go then. Yeah, we will kill the boss in this part, so that the next part, we get all the scenes. Basically how I'm planning to do it. That's a good way to do it, we get the, get the fighting out of the way. It looks like this is the boss room for this floor. Indeed. Yeah. Just got to head back to Ark Sophia and contact the assault team. It's generally the same thing every time, isn't it? Return to town! Right. So. I assume we have a little scene here, don't we, when we return to town? Or do we? 
No, we don't. Right. What I'm going to go do is go finish the quests. I'm making a little cut here, and then we'll go off and do the boss. Do you want to join the battle with the boss? Right now, we're gathering info about it and rounding up anyone who wants to take part. Let's join boss battle. Are you all set? Okay, so before we head into battle, you should check the boss info one last time. Say last time, I've not checked it yet. Unless there are any last minute problems, I hope we can count on you. You have my gratitude. Uh, yep, 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 yep. Right, so boss. The Dark Knight. So, what, it's Batman? Can't be Batman. Uses sword-based skills. Could be Batman. Uses buffs to gain temporary invisibility. Ah, it's weak to blunt attacks. Right, so that's, that's confirmed. We're taking Elizabeth then. Sword skills can be parried. Still not figured out how to do that properly. I know how to do it. It's just the timing, etc. I've not done yet. Invincibility buff can be sealed by destroying its legs. Right, so we go for the legs first. Yes. Great, so you're in. We're all about to gather for a meeting. So, make sure you're there. Okay, let's get this meeting underway. Again, it's, it's going to be the same again. First, I'd like to thank you all for joining today. We have located the boss room during our recon of this floor's labyrinth. The next step is for everyone to... Everyone gathered here to get out there and kick some butt. We'd like you to form parties and then carry carry out raids on our enemy. Be sure to team up with people you trust and are prepared to fight alongside until the bitter end. Might actually be different. It feels like it's different. Um, team up with Lisbeth. Maybe I should ask Lisbeth to fight with me. Liz, you want to join me this time around? Yeah, that sounds great. A warrior and a blacksmith make a perfect pair. Good to have you on board. I won't let you down. Let's be sure we know how we're going to divide things up and what tactics we're going to use. Okay, it's time to get the show on the road. Let's do this. Let's... Now we're going to go for the legs. I forgot about this. This is armor. And how awesome it is. Everyone, I have only one thing to say to you. Never give up. Never surrender. Dead. It's the same people again. Always the same people, always dead. Very weird. Very, very weird. Why does she always get to open the doors? Why can't I ever open the doors? Ooh. It is Batman. Nothing like Batman. I've changed my other sword, by the way, you may have noticed. It's a good looking sword. I like the design from just above the hill. It's kind of cool. Alright, so I want to take out its legs. The Dark Knight! Alright, buff up, speed demon, dancing blade. Trying to dodge, it's like, ow! Already been hit, it's, it's quite annoying. Ow! Ow, ow, ow! So I want to switch. And I also want to heal up. Because that's just like, damn! Um, and it's set up. Where's like a really big healing potion? Keep getting that wrong. And we'll use another one. There's got to be a better way to get to the menu here. Right, there we go. Let's get back in there now. This one's going to be quite difficult. I'm going to have to hold on to my dodging abilities. Stay behind it. It's 
See, I'd, so I'd soon and dodge. Pressing triangle, but nope. I think I, I think I parried that. I'm not sure. He got a bit stunned there. What? Oh yeah, I can stun, can't I? I got ahead the stun ability. Using big skills. I'm stunned. Damn it! As I pressed it, as I pressed it, this one is quite difficult. I think it's because I don't understand how to parry properly yet. There. Right. So it starts to swing. I press parry. Dodge then, dodge, move, move, move. I'm pressing move, but it's doing nothing. I need to switch. Right, so, I did swap. Use that. There we go, right back in. Speed Demon, Dancing Blade, Slow Down, and Phantom Break. Why are some of them not even attacking? This is quite bizarre. Now you got the guy with the... the... Guys with the axes on the left. They're not doing anything. Why? And what is going on with the camera? The guy with the axes is just not doing anything. How do I tell them to move in? Oh, now they're coming in. Very bizarre. There we go, I think I've got it now. Stunned him on that one. Yeah, I think I've got it now, I think I've got it. Just took some practice to get used to this whole... ...dodging skills and parrying skills, but I think I've got it now. It's going much better. I can't move right now, so maybe maybe I'm not. Use the skill, Kirito. There you go. Jeez. Well, I want my stun back. I should have used more of these skills. I completely forgot they existed because of my practicing with the parrying. But I had skills. Not a good thing to forget, is it, really? Alright, wait for him to do a big skill. And then we'll stun him. Now, that's a good time to stun him. Another big skill. Come on. Is he invulnerable now? Yeah, so we need to attack his legs, it said. That's what we're doing. Alright, we've got, we've, got we've got him opened up now. I'm trying to dodge, but it's not doing it because I was mid doing something. That's the only problem. It doesn't stop what you're doing to execute a dodge or anything like that. It's like, no, stop hitting it and dodge. I've got to be very careful what I press. I need to switch, really. Stun him. It's good. Big skills now. This boss has definitely presented me with a challenge, and I do appreciate it, because it, it requires me to start rethinking things and get my skill level up. Actually, you know, put in some proper effort to actually do things properly. I'm hoping I get the last hit. I'm hoping. 
want something good off this if I can. Enjoyed that. Because it was a challenge. Two people died. D. Ooh. I guess that's because two people died. Because of me messing around, not understanding what to do properly. Ah well. You live and you learn. Yes. Cleared. That last fight was pretty tough. It was. It was. I started to get it towards the end though. Alright. Just one more push and then I can activate the way to the next floor. Yeah, let's go, Kirito. Now that we've finished the boss, we will be ending this part, by the way. We'll just view this little scene after we go through these doors. I've activated it! Thanks. You've earned a break. Let's head back to Oxifia and prepare for the next battle. But not before we've had some rest. We've done enough for today. Let's get going, Liz. Roger that!